Hello students, welcome to Solve This Classes. Today we will be solving the part 1 of TI from Maths question paper of year 2017. We have solved question number 1 in an earlier video. Today we will be solving the question numbers 2 and 3. So let's begin. We start with question number 2. In question number 2, it has been given that A, B, C are positive real numbers such that 1 plus A plus B plus C into 1 plus 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C is equal to 16. In that case, it has been asked whether the statement A plus B plus C equal to 3 is true or false. Let's begin. We'll use the relationship of arithmetic mean and geometric mean. Now we know that arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to geometric mean. Also, if all the terms are equal to each other, then the arithmetic mean is equal to the geometric mean. Now let us consider the numbers 1, A, B, C. Now we consider these four numbers since we have already uh, seen there, there is a part of the problem where this uh, where 1 plus A plus B plus C is used. So, so we use these numbers. Now if all the numbers are equal to each other that means 1 equal to A equal to B equal to C that implies that the AM is equal to the GM and that comes out to be 1 plus A plus B plus C by 4 that is equal to 1 into A into B into C whole to the power 1 by 4 that implies that 1 plus a plus b plus c by 4 is equal to a b c to the power 1 by 4 this we take as equation 1 now we move uh, insert now we insert more space below Now we consider another four set of numbers. We will consider 1, 1 by A, 1 by B and 1 by C. Now if 1 is equal to 1 by A is equal to 1 by B is equal to 1 by C. In that case A equal to B equal to C is equal to 1 which I have already um, found out here now we use uh, this set of conditions to find out the am and the gm here am is 1 plus 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c by 4 and that is equal to 1 into 1 by a 1 by b 1 by c whole to the power 1 by 4 then we find that 1 plus 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C by 4 that is equal to 1 by ABC whole to the power 1 by 4 and we take this as equation 2 now we multiply equation 1 and equation 2 this gives us that 1 plus a plus b plus c into 1 plus 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c by 16 is equal to 1 this implies that 1 plus 1 by a 1 plus a plus b plus c into 1 plus 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c is equal to 
16 so we have already satisfied our given condition and this is uh, this condition is satisfied when a equal to b equal to c equal to 1 and that means that a plus b plus c is equal to 3 and so the statement that was given is true now we solve the next question which is question number 3 in question number 3 it has been said that there exists a function f which goes from r to r and satisfies the condition f of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 f of 1 is equal to 1 and mod of f of x minus f of y is less than or equal to mod of x minus y whole to the power 3 by 2 and that is for all x y belongs to r now we have to find out whether this uh, there exists such a function as has been mentioned in the given question so let us begin uh, we have been told we have been said that we have been given a condition where f of x minus f of y the mod of this part is less than or equal to x minus y whole to the power 3 by 2 for all x y which belongs to the set r if now putting x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 we get mod of f of 1 minus f of 0 is less than or equal to 1 and f of 1 we have we already know the value of f of 1 f of 1 is 1 so this gives 1 minus f of 0 is less than or equal to 1 and by using this condition we will find out that f of 0 belongs to the belongs to the set close interval 0 to 2 similarly x equal to 0 and y equal to minus 1 will give us f of 0 plus 1 is less than or equal to 1 which implies f of 0 belongs to the close interval minus 2 to 0 and by using this condition these two conditions we'll find out that f of 0 is equal to 0 now similarly we'll put x equal to x and y equal to 0 in that case we'll find out that mod of f of x is less than equal to mod of x all to the power 3 by 2 therefore f test x is equal to limit y tends to x mod of f of x minus f of y by mod of x minus y which is less than or equal to limit y tends to x x minus y to the power 3 by 2 divided by mod of x minus y and into limit this is equal to limit x minus y mod to the to the power 1 by 2 and this is equal to 0 now f dash x is equal to 0 that means f of x is equal to c where c is a constant but in our conditions we have been given that f of minus 1 is equal to 1 and f of 1 is equal to 1 also we have found out that f of 0 is equal to 0 
so f of x is not a constant function and so the statement is false so today we have solved the question numbers 2 and 3 from the tifr question paper we will be solving the next questions in the upcoming videos thank you and all the best